Good morning. I know this is my third video today, but I wanted to give you kind of an update of where things are. So, of course, we've gotten all the paneling up, and we're still trying to figure out uh, the trim that we're going to use. Of course, we can't put that down until we have the flooring. But I can install all the upper trim and the vertical trim um, now because this isn't going to get painted. And these are actually just little panels that I've put in. Um, this is a neat storage space. This is what was in there before. And considering, too, that the person in here smoked, that is disgusting. And I'm just using it as a template because eventually I'm going to take these and replace them with pieces of wood that I do my art on. Uh, and if any of you know about my art, then you know it's going to be amazing. Um, if you don't, it is done with electricity and it looks like that. It's called lightning wood burning. Um, look up Morning Crow Designs on Facebook. So I've gotten this wall complete. I had to kind of puzzle it together with pieces that I had. So I've done some spackling and honestly the wall's not... It's kind of wonky, you know, there's not a stud behind this, so I did the best I could. It's not going to be flat, I'm just going to have to live with it. So, but considering I just had random pieces, um, I still managed to cut the window out. Sorry about the glare. Um, and the trim will go on there. Oh, that's where I spray painted some upper pieces. Um, and I could not, no matter how many times I tried get this weird shaped corner right and so I said you know what I'm just gonna go to here and I'm gonna cover it with a little strip and that's gonna be it so if you didn't know already uh, the flooring uh, looks like this and that's gonna go very nicely with that wall and actually my paint colors I have some samples back here Let's get those out. So it's a little dirty, but my upper cabinets are going to be this kind of off-white. And my lower cabinets are going to be that. And then my regular walls are going to be that. So this is what we're looking at here. Sorry about the wonky view. Are going to be those three right there. And it's going to look really good with the walls. And uh, so, but we're going to take this flooring and it's going to go up the back of that wall. So it's going to be like an accent wall. And then I'm also going into the bathroom now, going to pull that same flooring up my bathroom wall here. Um, I'm going to remove this shelf and create multiple layer shelving all the way up because it's just not space being utilized and I can add another shelf under here and the toilet paper is right there which it's kind of weird so I might move it over to here I don't know we'll see um, I cleaned the tub as best I could but it is still where it once was white it's now orange and I've ordered some stuff called Rust-Oleum Tile and Tub Refinishing, and I've read a lot of reviews about it, and the worst thing I've heard is it's stinky. And the guy before put these screws in, and I don't know why, and um, I was able to go because the frame was attached with this double-sided foam tape, and it had caulk on it, so I worked on it and worked on it and worked on it, and I got all that stuff off. I used Goo Gone on that double-sided foam tape. So that opened it up a lot. And how beautiful would it be if someday I could make this entire room a wet bath? That's when you make the whole room tiled and everything drains into the tub. It would open it up so much with a nice pedestal sink and, you know, dreams, dream home kind of thing. So, here's going to be an interesting thing, is trying to get rid of the gold here, but I think the primer will take care of that. Tim's going to work on these lights. 
Um, it cuts on over here. And then, because they're just incandescent and they're not very bright and they're quite yellow. Um, the fan doesn't work, which we'll work on that too. So I went through and took, as you can see, some things off the ceiling, not everything, and I spray painted it white. That's the vent cover for the air intake uh, down here and over there. So I've gotten those, and they look brand new. Spray painted them white, they look beautiful. Now my ceiling's also going to be white. I thought it was going to be gray, but Tim said that he wants it white. So, but that's okay. I don't mind. Anyway, well, I hope I'm in view. Um, making little progress. Just doing little things right now. I got this Murphy table. It was installed in the wrong place over on that wall there. But, so I put it back up. And I made it more sturdy. I added some extra support. Um, I fixed my drawer that I broke while I was fixing the drawer, funny enough. Um, I'm going to build a little panel that flips down to go over this. Um, today I am going to work on building a cabinet door that goes here and it'll lift up and that's where the microwave will be. And then I'm going to work on building cabinet door for over here because that's missing. Um, but that's pretty much it. I did replace or fix this chip in the sink, but I didn't do it right. But at least it's in there. Um, that's the only problem with the, and it's a porcelain sink, which I'm pretty good with. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the reno so far. Oh, and here we go. I'm going to fix these panels because they were up there. And that glass is getting painted over because that's very, like, 19 early 1990s waterbed look I, and I'm not into that anymore I say anymore so got the nice cabinets I'm gonna remove the handles here uh, I'm gonna take the cabinets off so that I can paint the hinges a nice hammered silver because you know I'm going for that like barn look that country look um, just maybe kind of a country chic so, you know, that's where we've gotten so far. And Tim's done some really big jobs that I don't think I could have done. Like, he replaced this whole corner. Um, I wish I had taken better pictures of it. But he cut out this whole corner. I mean, it was just rotted in there so bad. And he replaced the entire floor all the way across. So it's reinforced. Um... We're going to get rid of that creek. I swear to you, it's driving me nuts. So that's about it, fam. I love you guys so much. Uh, thank you so much for keeping up with me. I really appreciate it. And um, have a blessed day. Be well.